We continue to hear the dramatic accounts of those struggling to return home from Israel to escape the warfare. Delicia Washington is one of those people. She's a Baker County native who was playing professional basketball in Israel when Hamas attacked. She just arrived back in McClenny. She sat down with News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Pickett and described what she went through. Can you tell me a little bit uh, about that day, what happened over the weekend? Uh, so usually I was in Jerusalem. Um, usually they have like celebrations like almost like every day of the week. Um, so I constantly heard fireworks. Um, I, I was seeing fireworks. So um, that morning I, I hear the noise, but I'm thinking it's fireworks because they have like holidays almost every day of the week. Um, so I finally opened my eyes and I, I'm in um, a group chat with my teammates and my coaches. And um, the first thing I locked my eyes in on is that we're at war. What were your thoughts then at the time when, when you're hearing all of this and you go to a safe room? What did you think was happening? Honestly, I was, I was really frightened. Um, my first thing was thinking of my family members, thinking of people back at home. At that time, her family in McClenny had no idea what was going on until she called and told them that war had broken out. I didn't know how to take it at the time. I, I, didn't, I liked it went crazy. And while I was talking with Delisha, you know, you can hear the noises in the background, the helicopters, the bombs or whatever, you know, and I know I should have stayed strong for her, but I, I just wasn't able. I wasn't able. Delisha's team was just beginning its new season and was going to play a game that day. The president of our organization and my coach, uh, they call us and tell us that they want us to be safe, so they was going to try to get us on the next flight to go home. So they got you to the airport, which was located where? In Jerusalem? No, it was in Tel Aviv. So that's even closer. Yes, sir. To the, so you were in Tel Aviv. What happened there at the airport? Uh, I was in, it was really hectic. A lot of people, um, a lot of people frustrated. Me, me personally, I'm frustrated too, just trying to get out of there and be safe. Um, but I was just trying to get to the gates to get to my, get to my gate so I can get on home. You got on the plane, it took off, yes, but you heard of what happened at the airport. Yes, sir. What happened? I heard there was a few, few people that had been murdered um, at the airport. Um, didn't really, don't know really who, who it was, um, but I made sure because I've been playing this game a long time. So um, I reached out to some former teammates um, that was also in Israel um, to make sure they were safe. And everybody I talked to, they was at home safe or either boarding on their flight to, to go home. And when she got to the airport here, her mother was there waiting. I just grabbed her. I mean, I was just so glad to see her back home. I, I didn't know what to think. I was just glad my baby was home. Delicia's grandmother was the one trying to hold the family together with prayers, but says she was always nervous about her granddaughter being overseas. But before she left, I asked her not to go over there because I know there's always something going on over there. And while they can look back now and smile, it was Delicia's brother who took some bold steps to try to get his sister home. He called the White House and left a message for the president. My sister, Delicia Washington, she's over in Israel. I don't have to tell y'all what's going on because y'all already know. He said, y'all got Brittany Griner back, and I need y'all to get Delicia Washington back. <laughs> so... When he he seen the news, they said the president was going over that way. He was like, I guess he got my message. So. <laughs> but I will tell you, the family knows how serious this is for all the others that have loved ones that are still missing over there. You know, Delicia, she played professional basketball here in the U.S. She also played in Italy a short time in Israel at that time. And you might remember when she played at UF and Clemson. Now, I asked her if she will go back to Israel, and she told me no. We're live on the South Bank. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Jim, thank you.